Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Not a fun video today, but it's an important one. There is a boot loop problem with some of the fire sticks now. And so in today's video, we're gonna share with you why that happens where it will just boot and loop and keep rebooting and you can't access anything on your fire stick. Some people are throwing them in the trash. Well, you don't have to, it can be fixed. So if you have an old one that this is happening to, or maybe you've never even encountered something like this, you might in the future. And so this is gonna be an important video to know or reference back later. So we're gonna talk about why this happens on the fire stick and how to fix it. Really quick video, let's do it. So why does the boot loop happen on your fire stick? Well, there's two reasons why. The first one is the most obvious for you, and that is it is auto updating. So you're updating your fire stick and you lose internet connection at some point during that. If that happens, more than likely your fire stick will just keep rebooting and rebooting and rebooting, and it will never catch back up with the update. And so that will cause a major problem. And the only way to fix that is going to be a factory reset. So the factory reset process, which I'm gonna talk about at the end of this video. So if that is the cause of it, factory reset, you gotta start over. But there is another reason why this happens, and that is because maybe you have peripherals, maybe a bad plug, maybe a, you're plugging it directly into the USB on your TV, or you have peripherals like a remote control or an external hard drive. Sometimes those peripherals draw too much power and so it will actually re-loop during the boot process. It doesn't have enough power or one of the peripherals goes bad and it will do that as well. So that's the reason why there's two reasons. It could be a peripheral, which is easily fixable. We'll talk about that in today's video, or it could be something happened during an update. So you have auto updates set on your fire stick. I always turn it off on mine and I wanna make sure I have a strong signal whenever I do it. I do have my fire stick hardwired through ethernet so I won't lose connection unless we have a power outage during an update. So it's really not as big of a deal, but I know most people don't do that. So we're gonna talk about that in today's video. So let's get right to it. We'll talk about the ways to fix the boot loop error right now. All right, so first of all, this is kind of how I have my Fire Stick set up. And I know this seems like a lot, but it's really not if your TV is on a TV stand and you get so much more out of your Fire Stick. So I have my Fire Stick plugged into my TV. I have an OTG adapter. On the OTG adapter, I have my power cord, which plugs into the wall outlet, not the TV, because if it's plugged into the USB on the TV, it might not be enough power and it could cause a boot loop. And I have also in this OTG adapter, and the reason I have the OTG adapter is for this right here. Now I'm sharing this with you because this is how most people will upgrade their Fire Stick. This is a two terabyte hard drive, a slim one, and it, you can use this with an OTG adapter not a powered hub, which is what I actually use on all my other fire sticks is one of these powered hubs. And so if you have one of these, not only do you get more USB ports, but you can have larger drives than this one here. So this is two terabytes and I have it plugged in here. Now, if you're mounted on the wall, you probably don't wanna do that. So you would probably just use a little thumb drive instead. So you would just unplug the big old hard drive and then you would plug this guy right in. And if you plug this tiny little drive in, it won't take up any weight on the back of your TV. And of course, you're always gonna have this plugged in. So it's just this here. Now this one here is, I think it's like 64 gigs, but if you think about it, a Fire Stick really only gives you about four gigs available, maybe even less than that. If you check your storage on yours, add a 64 gig, you're gonna have a lot of storage. Why would you wanna add storage? Well, you can download programs, you can have more apps, you can have a program like TV Mate where you can record live TV, all stuff like that. Um, so why would the boot loop happen well, the first thing you wanna to do to fix this problem is to unplug all the peripherals. Start from scratch. Get rid of the OTG adapter right here. Get rid of that, okay? Plug this right back in directly to your Fire Stick and plug it back into the wall, okay? So you do need to unplug the power, obviously plug it back into the wall. Once you do that, if everything's fine, boom, you know what your problem is. It was probably the OTG adapter or the powered hub, or the drive was taking up too much power, okay? So that's the first thing you wanna do. Now you could try replugging the OTG adapter and your drive back in, and if it's doing the boot loop again, you know it is probably either the adapter or the drive is taking too much power, and you just can't use that one. You gotta use maybe a little thumb drive, try that. So that's the number one way to fix it, and this fixes most problems. Now when you unplug it from just like this, and you're plugging it back in, 
do this. Why don't you wait 60 seconds? Because that's another way to fix it. Wait 60 seconds, let the Fire Stick reset itself. It's not going to factory reset it. It's just going to be like a hard restart, basically. And if you do that, now this gives this a chance to really kind of work itself out any problems you might have. So wait 60 seconds before you plug it back into the wall and it might fix the problem right there. So do that first. So that's the first step. Remove all the peripherals, plug it directly into the wall, just bare bones, not the TV, but the wall outlet. Try not to use the TV power because sometimes that USB is just not powerful enough on your fire, on your, on your TV and it will cause boot loops and things like that. So plug it directly into the wall. Make sure that you're using Amazon actual plug because sometimes the amperage might be different on yours. Okay. So keep that in mind. And I know a lot of people just put the USB right into the uh, power block because a lot of power blocks have a USB port. Don't do that. Use the plug. There's a reason why it has a plug and it's so big. Um, it needs a certain amount of power, a certain amount of amperage directly to this right here to be optimal. So make sure you use Amazon products with the Amazon Fire Stick or it could cause that boot loop. All right, I hope that didn't confuse you. I know it's a little bit more technical and I know a lot of people don't have all these peripherals. They just have a regular fire stick that they plug in. You don't have all this other stuff. This is just an option for you and I have videos on it if you wanna know more about that. But let's talk about a way that you can fix this. If you didn't have peripherals and you tried the unplug for 60 seconds and plug back in and you're still getting that boot loop, more than likely, during an update, you just lost your internet connection. And that could happen for a variety of reasons. You, it could have just dropped, or maybe you're a little bit farther from your router and it just hiccuped for one second. And that's really all it takes to cause this boot loop. So what would you do? Well, you'd have to start over. So you're gonna have to do the factory reset. And it's actually really easy to do. Uh, and a lot of people don't realize you can do the factory reset without actually going into the settings on your Fire Stick and doing it. Because if it has a boot loop, you can't go into settings and do it, but you can use your remote control still. So what you're going to do on your remote control, and I'll put it kind of a little thing in the corner so you can see how to do it. Basically, you're gonna hit the back button and the right portion of the um, little select button in the center, there's a ring that goes around it. So you're gonna hit the right side of that and you're going to hit the back button. At the same time, and hold it down for about 10 seconds until it pops up on the screen where it says, "Would you? are you sure you want to factory reset it? Once that happens, you can say yes or you can say no. If you don't do anything, it'll count down and do it automatically for you. So if you do that, factory reset it, it will stop the boot loop issue for you and it will fix most of those fire sticks. So if you have a fire stick that just kind of does the boot loop or went kaputs or it's causing all kinds of problems or maybe you have so much on there you don't know what you downloaded and you can't even use it because you have critically low storage you just can't even get to settings this is a great way to kind of start over make your fire stick like brand new it's the factory reset and you can just do it with a remote a lot of people don't know that so either of these ways should fix your fire stick i would encourage you to try the unplug from the wall wait 60 seconds remove any peripherals that you might have attached to it and then if that doesn't work factory reset's your best option otherwise you might as well just put it in your drawer and forget about it but you don't have to because of this video it should be able to fix it i really hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to my channel please subscribe click our channel name right down below and you're going to see all of our videos we've got tons of videos on helping you with fire sticks android boxes all kinds of smart home devices and hopefully you get some good information there thanks again everybody bye